What's up everyone? My name is Mike and this is The Board Cyborg. Today we're going to be doing another collection video. This is going to be my TV series box set and animated show collection. It doesn't have much rhyme or reason, mostly because it's in a sort of makeshift bookcase here and it's hard to maintain it, so I just kind of stick things wherever I could fit them. And so it'll make it an interesting kind of video. It'll go from animated show to TV series and etc, etc. I'd love to know what some of your favorite TV series and animated shows are, so feel free to leave that down in the comments below. As we go through these, I'll let you guys know what some of my favorites are, and we could get a little discussion rolling as usual. So let's jump right in. I'm going to do the front first, and then I'm going to remove these and do the back. Let's do it. All right, so starting up here, you guys see this area of my room. It's the corner of my room, actually. You guys see this in almost every video, but I've never talked about any of these box sets here. So, and yes, this is my mattress blocking out the natural light. <laughs> you know, we got a high-tech production studio around here. All right, so we're going to jump right in. I've got Halloween, Bride of Frankenstein, Motel Hell, little posters there. And uh, starting here, I'm not going to take too much time on each individual item, obviously. You know, that would take forever. But we've got The Future is Wild, which is cool. It's sort of a like a, a nature documentary that, uh, that extrapolates what's going to happen in the future with uh, evolution and how certain animals might adapt. It's pretty cool stuff. The uh, CG's a little outdated. It's Always Sunny. Um, I've got a bunch of these sort of you know, peppered here and there. I, I love the show. It's one of my favorite sitcoms. I don't really watch too many sitcoms, but It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is always funny. Simpsons, of course. I do have the first season of Simpsons there. I think the second season. I do want to sit down and watch that. Believe it or not, I never really got into the Simpsons. Around 96, 97, I got into South Park, and the rest is history. Um, I've got these little guys that I found at a thrift shop about a year ago now. And, of course, the Xenomorph there. But behind is Voltron, so that's pretty cool. Love Voltron. Didn't really grow up with it. I caught reruns growing up in the 90s, but um, really enjoy Voltron. Justice League Season 2. I do have Season 1 and 2. Of course, Buffy. I've got a bunch of those as well. And one of these, I got this at like the Dollar Tree recently. 90 Look and Laugh cartoons. I always love these cartoon sets. They're all public domain. I actually grew up with a lot of these public domain ones like Mighty Mouse, Casper, Baby Huey, Betty Boop, Little Lulu. Yeah, it's just, um, I don't know, brings me back to my childhood and a lot of those cartoons are still fun to watch. Beetlejuice, I believe this is the entire collection. Season 1, 2, 3, and 4, part 1 and 2. Love this. Again, grew up watching it Saturday morning cartoons, if I could remember correctly. This and Adam's Family. Both really, really cool animated shows that nobody really talks about. Really dark. Miami Vice Season 1 and 2. I think there's a Season 3, but that's a show that I've definitely wanted to get into. It's an action-based crime, you know, cop show from the 80s. Uh, actually, Michael Mann did that. And he would go on to do Heat, of course, and the Miami Vice movie, amongst many, many other films. Great films. I don't even know. I think I got this one at the Dollar Tree. Uh, super duper <laughs> sumos. Not expecting much from that. But it looks like late 90s Cartoon Network era kind of thing. The Outer Limits, of course, the original show from the 60s. It's great stuff. Uh, we got another Voltron there, actually. I think that's season two. Battlestar Galactica, that's actually the movie, uh, but I have that here because it's the movie of the TV show, right? So, uh, The Outer Limits, that's the 90s, season one from the 90s version. Grew up watching that with the family. We used to gather around the TV, at least for a couple months we did, I, I remember, and it was, a, it was a good show. We liked the original more, though. Dinotopia, that's a show I've not gotten into or seen. I think it's a miniseries, actually. Carnivale, I do have Carnivale 1 and 2 somewhere. I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> I haven't gotten into that show either, but I've heard great things. Um, I'm a little reluctant to start it because people say that it got cut you know, short. It ended abruptly because they pulled the show, but I still do want to check it out. Who is America? Great show. I actually recently finished the entire thing. I watched a few episodes when it was airing. It's Sasha Baron Cohen doing you know, the same sort of style of humor um, and social commentary, social experimentation, I should say as the Ali G Show and Borat and Bruno and all that good stuff. But this is top-tier Sasha Baron Cohen. He pulls no punches and makes fun of everyone, and that's how I like it. <laughs> the uh, Smurfs there, Xena, 
grew up watching Xena and Hercules. I don't have nearly as much as the Xena and Hercules series as I'd like, but I'm kind of piecing it together as I go. Actually, I, that might be the only Xena I have, which is season one. So there you go. Gargoyles, the complete first season. I don't have the rest of the series on DVD. I'd love to, though. Luckily, uh, Disney Plus has added the entire series, which is nice. Uh, Lex, the complete series. This is a show from the late 90s, early 2000s I never got into. Uh, Giant 600 Cartoon Collection. Yeah, there's another one of those sorts of things that I have back there. Uh, again, I love the public domain cartoons. More Always Sunny, Aeon Flux. Love this show. I've only seen a few episodes, but I do really love the style of this, the music. Ah, oh, it's just so cool. So cool. Aeon Flux. More Buffy. Friday the 13th, the second season. I think I have the first somewhere. Invader Zim, Volume 3. Yep, I have the entire collection of that as well. Somewhere. Yeah, this is... It's a shame that this is all out of order, but I did not feel like reordering this. <laughs> the Adventures of Super Mario Brothers 3. That's very cool. It's not the Super Show. That right there is the Super Show, obviously. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 is more like the game. Like, it has, like, side-scrolling segments and stuff like that. It has... It retains the spirit of the Super Show, but without, like, the weird live-action stuff with the two creepy guys. Lou Albano and the other guy. <laughs> uh, Liberty's Kids, like an edu pseudo-educational 90s uh, PBS sort of show. Right here, a lot of my bread and butter. Hey Arnold, the complete series. I was a hu It's upside down, too. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I love Hey Arnold. I love all the old Disney shows. Or, I'm sorry, the Nickelodeon shows. Angry Beavers, Cat Dog, Doug, Ren and Stimpy, Wild Thornberries. Uh, just so much good stuff there. I have Rugrats somewhere. Uh, Mighty Mouse, Lunatics, this was like when uh, WB tried to make <laughs> make uh, the Looney Tunes into superhero type, super cool creatures. Yeah, like a superhero team essentially, but that didn't really take off. This is actually hard to find now, the Lunatics ones. It's not a bad show, it's not great though. Got some Bob Ross there of course, can't go wrong with that. Growing up in the 90s, you know, <laughs> Bob Ross was always on PBS and stuff like that. Uh, Pac-Man. Hanna-Barbera show, actually. That's pretty cool. Not A lot of people don't even know this exists. It's actually the complete second season. I don't have the first, which is weird. Uh, Pink Panther, the original cartoon. Planet of the Apes, the animated show. Popeye. Powerpuff Girls. I love the Powerpuff Girls. Uh, again, growing up in the 90s, like late 90s, early 2000s cartoon network. Some RoboCop, yep, animated show. These are from overseas, actually. Or Canada, I believe they are from. Pick those up on Amazon Canada. Uh, some Casper, Rocky and Bullwinkle, Roughnecks. This is like the Starship Trooper show here. Pretty cool. Never really got into it. I'm interested, though, because I like that universe. It's weird that that got made into a kid's show. <laughs> of, all, of all the things, like Starship Troopers, a super violent, super adult-themed uh, movie. Anyway... Creature Comfort, some Sonic the Hedgehog. This is um, not the better of the two, son or the three or four Sonic the Hedgehog shows, but it's not bad. Um, Sam and Max animated show. Huntick, this is like a an Italian animated show. I haven't gotten into it yet, but I'm always interested in different countries' animation. I do have the entire Samurai Jack. It's sparsed here and there. Gem and the Holograms. Johnny Quest, Legend of Zelda. You know I gotta have that. Scooby-Doo, Monster Force. This is cool for all my horror fans out there. This is um, Universal's attempt to, br to bring the monsters to the small screen in form of an animated show. It was a Monster Force Avengers type of thing. Not unlike the Lunatics, Looney Tunes superhero kind of push. But yeah, that's pretty cool. It's not a great show, but I do enjoy ch watching it just for novelty, really. So Kung Fu, I do have the entire series of that. There's the other one. There's some Archer back there. Transformers G1. Gotta have that. I love that show. I think it still holds up pretty, pretty damn well. Uh, one of my favorite 80s cartoons, I'd say. Uh, some serials, actually. I have a whole bunch of serials down here somewhere I'll show you, but... Some more Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Roddenberry's Earth, Final Conflict. Got uh, some Lost in, in Space here. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Kolchak the Night Stalker. One of my favorite shows of all time. I love this show. 
one of the best. Without Kolchak, we don't have X-Files, which I have the first season of somewhere in here, or Millennium for that matter. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, more Irwin Allen stuff, can't go wrong with that. The Time Tunnel Volume 1, I do have Volume 2 somewhere. Bump in the Night, a very weird claymation show from the 90s, super obscure, but I had to pick this up when I saw it. It's not bad, it's okay. It's weird as hell, super 90s claymation stuff. It, it's not too bad. The Third Man, some more like old TV shows there. Xena, this is, um, I believe, yeah, the series finale. Dick Tracy, more serials. Uh, Captain Gallant, more serials. Terry and the Pirates, um, that is another serial. I am a big fan of the old serials. Um, they inspired a lot of filmmakers that we know and love today, so it's pretty cool to see. People like Spielberg and Lucas. I guess the last couple generations of filmmakers. Ruby Spears, Superman, I want to say this is from the 80s. Looks 80s-ish, yeah. The Hitchhiker, it's an anthology horror show. Uh, hey Vern, it's Ernest. Can't go wrong with good old Ernest. Love me some, some, some Ernest. <laughs> Goosebumps, uh, Pepe Le Pew. I grew up with the Goosebump, Goosebumps books, of course, and then uh, started watching the show. Flight of the Concords, Forever Night, I do have the rest of the series elsewhere. Uh, amazing Stories, that's Spielberg, Joe Dante, a lot of big people uh, did, uh, it's like an anthology show, not unlike The Twilight Zone, but not as scary, um, more weird, I guess. V, The Final Battle, I do have the show somewhere here too. Um, this is the, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the Max Fleischer, Max and Dave Fleischer Superman show from the 30s. This this is incredible, uh, honestly, like late, oh, okay, it's early 40s, forgive me. This show holds up so damn well. The animation is so ahead of its time. It's it's fantastic. And actually, this is the premier way to watch them. The Blu-ray has some issues from what I've heard. So as far as I understand, this is the premier way to watch them. Great stuff. Growing up in the 90s, of course, you know, I, I was into Beast Wars. Can't go wrong with that. Seasons 2 and 3. I don't think I have the first one. There's the Ali G show. I do like it. I have problems with that character as a hip hop fan it's kind of i don't know insulting even though even that's that's the point uh but Borat and Bruno all those other cats are just ridiculous uh Rugrats I love Rugrats still such a poignant show about what it what it's like to be a child and uh it just it gets me every time i watch it it's it's great Mark Mother's Ball music of course from Devo King Kong the animated series i do have one and two of that are You Afraid of the Dark, one of the shows that helped spawn my love for horror and for horror cinema. This I was watching in the mid-90s, early early 90s to mid-90s. Actually, I think it went to the late 90s, and I absolutely adore it to this day. I mean, it's such a cool show, and it it's, takes, some, takes some pretty cool risks with the storytelling and the subject matters, and I, I really love this show, and it scared the hell out of me. That intro, by the way, is still one of the best. Ooh. It's so good. <laughs> Defenders of the Earth. A really cool animated show from the 80s that not many people talk about with like Flash Gordon and the Phantom. Uh, this guy, the magician guy that was from the 30s. Early, early, you know, superheroes and comic book heroes all sort of coming together to defend the Earth. Beetleborgs. Big bad Beetleborgs. Yeah, this is like a, uh, one of the many Power Rangers ripoffs from the 90s. You know, this came around the time as VR Troopers as well. So, you know, Season 2, Volume 1 here. I think I have some of the other ones as well. Big Bad Beetleborgs with Jay Leno as their trusty companion. I swear that dude always reminded me of Jay Leno. Sorry, I can't get much closer. It's not focusing. Andromeda, more Gene Roddenberry shows. Uh, Battlestar Galactica from the late 70s. Haven't gotten into that yet, but I would love to. Alien Nation. Want to lower your voice over there, Rocky? Batman the Brave and the Bold. Pretty cool. Haven't seen that show. I played the Wii game, though. The Wii game actually blew me away. It's like a co-op beat-em-up. Really cool art style that I would imagine they lifted from the show. G.I. Joe. I love the original G.I. Joe. Grew up watching that. More so than Transformers or any 80s show, really. Even He-Man. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yes, I have the first couple seasons of that. 150 cartoon classics, more public domain. I probably have many of these cartoons more than one time over. Uh, Deadwood, I do have the entire series of this. HBO show. Storyteller, Jim Henson's. Pretty cool. Chappelle Show Complete. You know, I was in high school when the Chappelle Show came out. It, everybody, I mean, that the cultural impact that show had is 
still felt today. It's still resonating. Peter Gunn, you know. All right, coming down here, I got to get on my side or something. Nope. <laughs> Not getting on my side. All right, Millennium. This is a show, of course, with Frank Black, Lance Henriksen. Came out a little, a few years after X-Files, and uh, my family and I would gather around the TV every week for X-Files, and then when this came out, we'd gather around the TV for this. Uh, this is like X-Files, just with him, who is a serial killer profiler, and he tracks them down, and uh, each episode deals with a different kind of serial killer. So it's really cool. It, it went on for three seasons, and it still holds up really well as I chip away at a lot of the episodes. So love it. Ramar of the Jungle, more serial more serials um I, again i really enjoy those let's see star hunter the muppet show <clears throat> i do have season one two and three of that hercules legendary journeys season three I'm not sure i think that might be the only one i have again it's just a matter of what i find in the wild rocco's modern life there it is rocco's modern life games and sports this has i talked about this when i first got it in a uh, what's in the bag episode, but guts, figure it out, family double dare, super sloppy double dare, Nick Arcade, and Legends of the Hidden Temple. All shows I grew up with, all shows I still enjoy watching to this day, so nostalgic, Mark Summers, ah, I love this stuff, I wish they would release all of them on DVD, that would be superb, get on that, whoever. I believe Amazon released that one. American Gothic, a show that I've always wanted to see. Uh, it's been compared to Twin Peaks. Um, Super Friends, I believe that's the one from the 70s? I get mixed up with a lot of these, but I, I do enjoy almost all of those shows. More Invader Zim, Superheroes. Uh, I think this is more... Yeah, this is older. I think the from the 60s. Or the 70s. Yeah, you guys might know just off the top of your heads. I get mixed up with all these different superhero shows from the 70s and 80s and 90s. Buffy, first season. The Adventures of Aquaman, the complete collection. That one's pretty hard to find. Dick Tracy, movie serials. X-Men Volume 4, I do have 1, 2, 3, and 5 elsewhere. There's 5. Sorry, this is so out of order. Sliders first and second seasons, which are the two best seasons, and it really goes downhill after that, to be quite honest. SCTV is a show I've never gotten into. It's like the Canadian version of like Saturday Night Live. John Candy and so many people came out of this. Uh, John Candy, Joe Flaherty, Eugene Levy, uh, Andrea Martin, Rick Moranis, Catherine O'Hara, Dave Thomas. So, still want to check out this sketch comedy show that I've never really have. I've caught skits here and there on YouTube, but there's a part two, or no, series two, season one. Um, yeah, so I actually don't own the original G.I.O. because G.I. Joe, because this is series two. I really need to get that. More Smurfs. Uh, ah, Real Monsters. Love that show. Rounding out the Invader Zim collection there. Spawn. I do own, I think, all three of these. This is the HBO miniseries that came out in the late 90s, early 2000s, and it holds up remarkably well. This is fantastic stuff. Uh, if you want to know what Spawn is all about, watch this, and then check out the uh, live-action movie from the 90s. But uh, but yeah, the, the animated show, honestly, is where it's at. Let's see. Children of Dune is down there. Hogfather, Terry Pratchett stuff. Uh, SNL, first season, Speak of the Devil. I think that's missing a disc, actually, sadly. I got it for free. Uh, Dune, more uh, the, the TV series, mini-series, I should say, from the 90s, late 90s. And then Children of Dune was the sequel to that. Uh, Roots, the next generation, so the Roots sequel. Roots I've actually not seen yet. I do have that somewhere here. Some Three Stooges action. Uh, might as well just knock these out. Forgive the lighting. Uh, this is my South Park collection. It's not the whole thing. It's about half of it, I would say. But I love South Park. This was, it's, It still is one of my favorite shows of all time. And it really uh, molded my sense of humor as a kid when I was shouldn't have been watching this. But I, I watched it first when I was around nine years old and uh, still love it to this day. And a lot of the earlier seasons are my favorites. The Cape. I've heard such abysmal things about The Cape that I had to pick this up when I saw it at a, a flea market or thrift shop. Uh, my buddy says it's one of the worst, you know, so bad it's good TV shows ever. So I got to check it out. Monty Python. <clears throat> 
think that's some sort of stage show. It's actually a DVD, even though it's housed in like a Blu-ray case. Young Justice, Season 2, Part 2. I think that might be the only one I have of that. Thunder, 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 Cats! Love Thundercats. That's probably my favorite show from the 80s. When I, I was growing up, I had VHSs of this. I was catching reruns. Love me some Thundercats and Lino. Some X-Men, more X-Men there. Bum, 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 bum. Chippendale. Love me some Chippendale, even though it wasn't focusing at all. Ninja Turtles Next Mutation. Yes, a show that I did watch in the 90s and I did enjoy. I knew it wasn't up to the standard of the films, but I still had fun with it. And you know what? I still do have fun with it, so screw it. Uh, Kung Fu, that rounds out one, two, and three. There's two. There's three. There's... Where was it? Four. There are season one. Yeah. I'm a mess. The Flash. Ah, no, um, this is the 90s show, actually, from the early 90s. And the pilot is a pretty good standalone Flash movie. Um, it's one I've actually wanted to cover in one of my series that I've, that I've done, talking about comic book movies from the 80s and 90s that no one really remembers. But The Flash, uh, still a really fun show. It actually had Mark Hamill as the Mad Hatter or... One, one of those types of characters. I'm not great with comic book characters, forgive me. I do have some, um, as you'll see, some nature documentaries and some, uh, this is actually archaeology and um, just ancient, ancient lost tribes of Africa. And it's a really cool documentary series. I like this kind of stuff, educational and, um, and entertaining. Buffy, fourth season. Uh, Rambo, one of the worst animated shows I've ever seen. It's I got some of the worst animation. Let me see if I could pull it out here. Honestly, I mean, I've seen a lot of shitty animation. But this, I mean, I grew up with, like, Newgrounds. So, like, Rambo. Oh, my God. It's got some of the worst animation. Like, the character designs aren't bad, but it's actually the kinesiology of the... <laughs> The animation that drives me insane. It, it's nauseating. Wacky races down there. Hanna-Barbera. I've yet to crack that seal there. Uh, more Defenders of the Earth. I think that rounds out my series. That's the series there. And then up here was the movie collection. Not easy to find those these days. Looney Tunes premiere collection. I do have some Blu-rays of that. Muppet Season 2. Green Hornet. Some more uh, serials or old TV. Um, more superheroes. I showed you that earlier. And then Metalocalypse, a show that I really want to get into more, but I really, I just haven't. I've seen a few episodes, and it's really funny, really good, especially if you're, a, like, a metal fan, which I am. So Metalocalypse. I do have, I think, a few more seasons of that. All right, so what I'm going to do now, since you've seen the front, I'm going to pull these out and show you what's behind them. Because, yes, there are things behind them, which makes it even harder to navigate. But, yeah, let's do that now. 